Okay, guys, good morning. It's another beautiful day here in uh, St. John's. So, I'm actually at uh, another friend's place here in St. John's. So, it's snowing this morning, you can see. So, let's go. Good morning, everyone. So, guys, I'm now at uh, the Memorial University of uh, Newfoundland here in St. John's. So, I'm at the Earth Center here right now. My friend just go. I'm going to take you guys around the university to see what the university really looks like. We have many international students here. So. Can you see me? So that's what I need to press to, to open the... Oh, wow. This is automatic. Science. Core Science Facility Pavilion. Yeah. So guys, let's go to the... This is called science uh, facility. Okay. So the fourth floor. This university is massive. It's big. Let's see the blue wheel still. Oh wow. This is gigantic. God damn it. Tail of the wheel hung up there. So that's the tail. Let's tell you how big this place is. Why won't you learn? These are areas where people sit down. This girl still goes to that hand over there. You can see. This is the dental clinic. Mob dental clinic. Student experience office. So this is the student experience of it. It's service desk. Hello, Axia. And this is a food court library. Wow. Food court library. Chicken Express. Then you just sit down by whatever you want to eat. And uh, you can just sit down and twist it. So you guys are just trying to relax here. And I will you know, wait for some few minutes before I use it. 
Good. Good. So. design of uh, the university and uh, you can say this is a main road and uh, the building you know there's a bridge across the building so they just utilize everything and this bridge consists of uh, the food court here so where you can just uh, sit and uh, buy something to eat so we we'll definitely come back and uh, see what we can buy and uh, eat there so we have the food court and the people can just sit down there and uh, you know, relax. Some people are even going in doing their assignments, some are texting. And uh, that's it. Honestly, uh, there's no way you will come here to study and then you will not do well. Except maybe there's someone from your village that, is, that, that has placed a course on you. Honestly, the atmosphere is conducive. Jokes apart, the atmosphere is conducive and there's no rush. There's no need for any uh, lecturers that uh, will be victimizing you, how to sleep with you before um, you, you pass, before they give you tests, before they give you grades, you know, all the rest. There's nothing like that here. Yes, I've even I've interviewed some students of, uh, uh, of the video and uh, you know, they told me a lot about uh, the standard of this uh, uh, university so I want to believe I don't know what uh, because number one I still need to compare and contrast you know from where I'm coming from a lot is going on in the university sector in the higher institution sector yeah even uh, my wife happens to be a victim of what I'm talking about in which um, uh, when it, when she was trying to do a degree and uh, it was then that we met so when we met she was uh, doing the degree at uh, Taishola Ain University of Education political science uh, department of faculty so it was during that time that we met and uh, there's this particular lecturer that has always you know been you know trying to have, a, have his way you know on on her i'm sure you know what i mean by that and um, this lecturer happens to be one of the worst lecturers ever his name is uh, dapo yes dapo of course i'm sure those that uh, attended uh, um, the school will know this person that i'm talking about his name is dapo yeah, I don't know if he's still at the institution there because I learned s somehow that he was being caught, you know, in the heart. And uh, I really don't know if he was suspended or not. I don't know. But people like that and many more need to be brought to book. They need to be brought to justice, honestly, because up till now, it, my wife couldn't have a degree. So what she's using. You know, uh, the ministry is uh, uh, NCE, which is a National Certificate in Education. That was the first uh, degree that uh, he got. She got before, you know, putting in for um, the, you know, Bachelor of uh, Science or what is it called? Honestly, it's so sad. And I'm sure many students are facing the same challenges everywhere. If you are a male, then you have to drop money. You need to pay. You need to pay. You need to set to lecturers before you can pass. If you are a female, you have to, you know, you know, there's some, some I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that all the lecturers, we have some good lecturers, some God-fearing lecturers that are very, very God-fearing and that, that, that will never um, condole in such hearts. 
So um, they will never take part in such acts, and uh, we have good lecturers like that. But you know, the the few ones that are into these kind of uh, malpractices, uh, I think uh, the authority should try to do something about it and even somehow some of them are even authority they are part of the authority they are part of decision making in the institution so it's always very difficult and they know themselves so some will just keep quiet to avoid trouble or whatever i don't know what uh, the government can do about that but i'm sure there are a lot of things that the government can do about that because uh, we already have a lot of issues and uh, when we stop uh, you know, people keep saying the government, the government. Yeah, the government has to, you know, be very swift in uh, making decisions concerning some of these issues that are affecting the uh, the society. So, if the government takes swift decisions concerning all this, and I'm sure well, things will be better. Nobody will want to face the wrath of the government. So, that is just my own. Uh, opinion about it everything still comes back to the government but at the same time like i keep saying it's a collective responsibility we can't put everything in the hands of the government we also have a role to play we have a role to play in everything in the governance we have a role to play it's not the government that will be at everywhere it is we people that the government govern that we place at all these places yes so it is you do your own i will do my own part do your own part and make sure you do it diligently with fear of god so that is all i have to say for now concerning that and uh, if this is being shared see everywhere will be peaceful there won't be cause for anybody running up and down and the leaders if they can also put on some sacrifices here and there reduce all this government uh, excessive uh, spendings here and there and they justify the little resources that we have by providing you know uh, basic amenities eh, for the the, the 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 people you know this will help and you know will be i'm always proud of my country but only that the leadership is what i don't really i'm not proud of the leadership at all yeah and saying that we are all leaders and we should lead well <laughs> we should lead well at any um, area where we are so that is just my own view concerning that so i hope this message will be passed across to the authorities kindly share the video let it you know get to the people and you as you are watching me you are part of it whatever nigeria is today we are all part of it it's not by one person where you are where you are working what exactly are you doing yes what are you doing there are you delivering your um, services as as when do you as at necessary or you are or, or is until when you see the minister coming or commissioner coming or the director coming that is when you start uh, moving up and down to adjust yourself and you know, we have what we call high services, basically. and then you see some of those uh, things going on. Most of the leaders up there, they don't do check and balancing because people that are there, they know that they are not doing anything. But let's say, okay, the commissioner is coming to visit a particular ministry. That is when you will see every directors in that ministry, everybody will start to be arranged to do this. But if we have been doing the right thing, there won't be any necessary, there won't be necessary, there, 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 there won't be need for any arrangement, uh, whatever, try to adjust this or that. So far, things are going smoothly, and maybe the government they should always try as much as they can to just pay an impromptu visit to all these ministries that they are you know, that they do have and uh, see what is going on. That is the only way. Just pay, and maybe you get some people. But you know the way the the corruption has eaten deep into our bone you know, is that. People that are even placed to monitor all these things, they are also corrupt as well. So our mindset, our orientation in Nigeria needs to change completely. That is the only way we can move that country forward. Yes, there should be total orientation 
Yes, total orientation and change of mindset in the country. That's the only way I think we can move forward. Just like uh, my friend said, that block. So I say the block. And also, we go to the library. See, I want to be sure I know where I'm going. How do I get to the clock? Do I need to come down here? So the rest are just building. So do I need to come down? Check out uh, the library. Let's see. Physical education. So, guys, um, like I was saying earlier on, that our education needs to look at this place. See how neat it is. See how well organized. And I'm sure it's going to be very difficult for someone to just say, okay. Um, I want to go into the building. Into the building. Yeah, there are many things that will come to your mind. Oh, are they really here for genuine reason? And then you start feeling, you see, oh, maybe you might come there, get there, destroy things, and uh, do a lot of uh, uh, things that are not, you know. Uh, out of the rules and regulations uh, of the institution. So, but it still comes back to us changing our mental orientation. Yes, if that is done, nobody will just come in. Like I am here now, nobody has challenged me, and I will not just go and uh, destroy anything or do anything against uh, their rules and regulations. So, look. Ah, wow, guys, this thing is, is huge. I'm watching this, so try as much as we can to see how we can implement something like this and also try to, you know, uh, maintain it. Yeah, because we lack maintenance culture. That is one thing I know. Yeah, this is education department. I think so. Yeah. This is a education department. I still have to go back to the library. It is always good to emulate good things. Honestly, it is always good to emulate good things. So, I'm sure our government, our leaders, they see all this. Their children come here to study and 
they should try to do something like this back home. It is very important. And that's why we are here to bring all these things to you. I hope we won't be chased away. I guess that could be look at uh, this place everywhere they just make life simple this is assess your course online assess your course online so you can see it here to assess your course online with your life so for safe Couldn't get someone to describe how to get to the food court without uh, coming down. But I think this is it. You see where I was coming from. So down to this place. I don't. I don't think I'll be coming out. That's it. So this is the food court and this is where I'm going to get something to eat. That's the one we saw earlier on. Chicken experts. Hello. Good morning. Sir, um, I really don't know what to eat, but uh, what and what do you have there? Okay, okay. Which one is two piece? We don't have that one. Oh, you don't have it here? Yeah. We have three boneless. Only? Boneless chicken. Boneless chicken. Yeah. So with what? Take a pizza and a burger and a burger. Take a chicken bread. Okay. Then a chicken popcorn. Okay. Take it like a bread and a Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. So guys, this is what I eventually bought. So Mary Brown chicken tatas. So this is a uh, three pieces of a uh, chicken combo with some potatoes and um, I have uh, some sauce here ranch here yeah, some sauce and I got uh, iced tea so they said they do not have water diet uh, Pepsi iced tea and all the rest so I decided to go for the iced tea so that's all they have here so guys and let's eat 